What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, 55, here with another video for y'all. This time, I'm going to have to review Nigel Ben. This is Connor Ben's dad. I got a bunch of comments from the UK fans talking about some, who is Nigel Ben? You don't know who Nigel Ben is? What are you? You supposed to be a boxing expert, man? I Listen, I'm not that old. I have heard of Nigel Ben now. I, You know what I mean? I, I looked a little bit into it. But I'm about to really check him out. This is going to be a first real review. And I'm going to check out his 10 best knockouts. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all make sure y'all hit that follow button. And, man, stay out the comments, man. Let me, I'm, You know what? If y'all right, I'm going to apologize at the end of this video. But right now, I got to see if this guy is really the real deal like y'all say he is. Check it out. Welcome to the top 10 in today's video we're counting down the 10 Nigel the Dark Destroyer Ben best knockouts. Number 10. Nigel Ben vs Tim Williams. On May 28, 1988, Ben beat Tim Williams by TKO at 0.59 in round 2 of 10. So there he is, he's crossed the right and now Commonwealth. Find out. He was one of the most explosive punches. Well, it looks like a nice tight defense, which is one thing you need against Ben, especially in the first round, when Ben gets sent to throw. Now as well to get in. First one position in his career, and on pro. First off, let me just say, uh, Nigel Ben, haircut. It looked like they put a diaper on his head and lined up the sides. This is, this is terrible. I mean, what is it? Party in the back. He, you know what? Keep the video going, man. It's worth remembering the seven rounds against an American Reggie Miller here last uh, December, which was not shown on television. Oh, and he's yeah. done it again. Williams was supposed He's to be swinging for the fences. High with a punch there on the temple. And, uh, Boy, you got a knot on the on the top of your head. God. Hey, yeah, he must hit hard. He's, he's Damn. Damn. Final punch was a right hand. Bro, was that a knot? Why he in the corner like? Having a good look, giving as much rest as he can. But Ben won't let this go on, and neither will the referee. It's all over. Number 9. Nigel Ben versus Abdul Sanda. On April 20th, 1988, Ben beat Abdul Sanda by TKO at 1.30 in round 2 of 12 and one vacant Commonwealth middleweight title. So you can tell, like, I mean, they both hit hard for sure. Like, they swing for the fences, like... Oh, we okay, Nigel. Okay, hey, he got some good defense, though. Need to teach his son some of that defense. God. Man, I, I miss boxing like this, man. Like, this was... Man, them folks trying to... Woo! You can hear them. Man, you can hear them shots. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Not. Whoa. Great. Hold on, man. Nigel what the ben versus fuck? Danny Perez. Hold on. What was that? What? Well, folks, folks, laid down. Boy. My boy, a break dancer. What the fuck? Nigel Ben versus Danny Perez. 
on September 2, 1995, defending WBC super middleweight title Ben beat Danny Perez by TKO at 2.33 in round 7 of 12. Whether that will be enough is of course very much open to question. Ben clubs in with those right wall fights so far have gone the distance. Hey, bro. Oh, hey, yeah, he hit. He Perez was vicious. Look like a totally a different person, though, in 95. A different kind of Woo! Man, boxing was just Perez. better, man. Oh, that was a good right hand, and that hurt Perez. He wanted to buy some time then. If he wanted to hold good punches. Body shots, man. Oh, 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 oh. In the right hand. Something you don't very often see. Oh, the right hand. Ooh. He's down for the first time in his career. Oh, good punches. But you now we see that Perez can bang a little bit. And his record doesn't suggest he can. Now he thinks he's been the victim of a rabbit punch. And Perez is now... Hey, you see, but you see his defense, though? Like, he really had good defense, too. I don't, I don't see that with his son like that. I'm sorry. I think he just, like, he paid attention to, like, how he was swinging for the fences. He throw hard shots, but defensively, like, Nigel was definitely, he was definitely way, way better. Number seven, Nigel Ben versus David Well. It's not just about just throwing a bunch of, like, punches, hard punches. Defending like. Commonwealth middleweight title Ben beat David and Well by TKO at 204 in round and one of 12. Defensive boxing after that scare that he had against Anthony. He's on the floor in the first round, on the receiving end of the second, and uncorked a left hook from out of space. To put no, because what happens when you yeah, the lead defense, class, man. the guys get hit harder. That's boxing. They catch you. They only need to catch you just the once, and it's good night. Ben just caught. No, with a, a right hand. It seems to just stand him up a little bit. The fans getting into it early. So this is the most. Exciting boxer in British boxing at the moment, Nigel Ben. As far as I say, he's the best, but he's certainly the most exciting. And he's catching Noel here, and the legs are going. And look at this, right in round one, Ben senses an opportunity. Ooh. And he's scoring very freely. Very good. But he has to be careful himself because he's known to get tagged with big right hands, a big left hook, so he has to be very careful. Noel's certainly not doing that at the moment. Oh, he's got him. <laughs> oh, look at those legs. I think that one can be put in the record book right there. Hey, yo. Good power. You just saw it. You just don't know where these punches are coming from. Hey, that he right brought that so fucking... quickly and so hard. This guy's, there's no way as he's going to get up. reactions to this shit, Beautiful though. Beautiful stuff from <laughs> Nigel Ben once again. Yeah, short and sweet from the Dark Destroyer. Number six. Yeah. I'm Nigel Ben Nigel, versus man. Jose Quinones on December 1st, Nigel. 1989. Nigel trying to rock some, but he got defense, man. At 251 in round one of 10. Bro, look like he fighting one of the temptations in that mode. Man, 1980s, man, people were just having kids with people they love. See, nowadays, like, people, like, just picking and choosing. Like, they'd rather have a kid with somebody who would just look good. These are some ugly dudes back in the day, man. Like, no lie. Maybe that's why fighting was better. God, yeah. Like, you don't see people that look like <laughs> Hey, man. This dude got the funniest knockouts, man. <laughs> he is knocking... Nigel God. versus Nikki Piper. Nikki On Piper got a 12, fucking cannonball WBC head. God Title Ben beat Nikki Piper. He ain't knocking his ass out, out boy. Forty-four in round eleven of twelve. Damn, my boy got a fucking brick on his shoulders. 
Oh, good left ben is going ben. in for the body shot. I know he's a tremendous guy on the, on the punch pads. Big cannonball here it is. Oh, really banging. I know he's switching over the top. Piper looks hurt. That's the way Ben comes rolling back every time he gets hurt. Does work. Does work. Good right from Ben. Last Broke out that there. Kevin Bacon head. God. <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh, Damn. Good left. Slowed down in the last two rounds, saving his energy up for oh, a big finish. Right. Big right hand. Piper in, trouble. Piper in big trouble. Come on, Piper, really fight back. Piper. Left up and down. And hey. Down. He says he's okay. Yeah, he uh, bro got the best knockouts, right. man. He's in big trouble here. No, the he's in enormous a trouble. I figured you do him a big favor and stop this guy. His hair is shaking, trouble. bro. This look like Keep your hands he's up. got no defense. Bobble head. Head. He's, not at all. he's out on his feet. I'd be very surprised if he gets through the round. I don't think he possibly can. Last eight rounds and he's just all out here. He's got nothing left. He can't even hold his hands up. No, I think this fight could be he's stopped here. now. I think it should be stopped now. Well, Larry O'Connor's giving him the benefit of the doubt. It's a world title fight. Look, look, them referees back in the day was getting folks put in the hospital. Right. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> referees right there with him. He rock. He rock band. That's enough. That surely is enough. Come on, referee. Call That's the fight, enough. ref. It's all over. Number four. Nigel ben oh, he had the same Andy referee Morgan. every time. He must have been the new uh, the old referee from back in the day. Defending the big Commonwealth fights. middleweight title, Ben beat Anthony Logan by knockout at 115 in round two of 12. Urging him on. Nigel Ben not wanting to hang around, and already Anthony Logan's in trouble, pinned against the ropes as Ben takes the fight. All of uh, Nigel's 18 fights where he's looked anything but that. He's trying to calm things down a little bit. He must have expected Nigel to come straight at him because however always on the attack. Putting his uh, opponent under pressure, calling there with a good right. Logan pinned up against. Oh, oh shit. Uh, swung a right. However, the referee gets the bat underway once again. See all that crazy shit. That's that wild shit. going to have to watch it as well because there's no get his fucking son knocked out. out. But Ben now gets the grip, takes this fight by the scruff of the neck. As Logan pinned up against the ropes once again. Left and right. Just... He, but he rocking being shit. And this uh, fair crowd at the Albert Hall yeah, really he... loving every minute of this bout as Ben immediately it's a on the attack. Fight, to baby. Really this... Logan hanging on. As ben trying to find a way through. <laughs> Hey, he, 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 he rocking Ben. Uh, as yet, he really hasn't troubled. Yeah, uh, Jamaican has been on the defensive for two rounds. Although that uh, left there caught him on the side of the head. Damn! Oh, he Damn! He's been in trouble and he catches Ben with a right and a left. Ben's in a great deal of trouble. Pinned in the corner. He's going to have to get out of that and defend. Ben's not been out of his defense. He's in trouble here. This could be a real sensation, a real turn up at the Albert Hall. Anthony Logan backs Ben up. Ben slips once again. Oh! Hey, I'm going to go back and watch this whole fight, man. This is... God. Number three. Nigel Ben versus I'm going to go back and watch that fight, man. That was crazy. 1993, defending WBC Super Middleweight title Ben beat Lu Gen by TKO at 0 35 in round 4 of 12. Oh, you see the rabbit punch from Nigel. He's allowed to... I'm working on this new case, a missing scientist. Come on with these ads, man. I've seen that before. If that had been on the head, we might have Nigel Ben down in a solid combination by Nigel Ben. Last right hand landed on the right shoulder of Nigel Ben. Two good lefts by Ben. Of putting on a show for the crowd and exposing himself. Solid work by Nigel Ben. That's right, he's driving to cover, trying to weather the storm. Oh, and a solid shot from Nigel Ben. Almost two and a half minutes left in round number three. Now can Lou Jet be smart? Short left that caught the face of Jet. And this crowd is going to 
Oh, oh. Fight though. Man, he he throwing some vicious. Number 2. Nigel Benn vs. Doug DeWitt. On April 29, 1990, Benn beat defending WBO middleweight title Doug DeWitt by TKO at 0.44 in round 8 of 12. So his best punches and get him in the right spot to knock this fellow over because he climbs up a lot, but he's hurt DeWitt. 11 stone 4 as against 11 8 and a quarter his last fight. The cut seems to be towards the side of the eye. So that's slightly better. God. Watch the head skin, the referee. Oh! Well, the count would have continued even if the bell went. Now that was a shot. What a slugging match this has been now. Jim uh, for Ben to just do a little bit of boxing here, stay a reasonable distance away. Fed in the first round. He just doesn't want to waste too much steam. Oh, good shot from Ben. Absolutely. The Browns with Tommy Hearns is at his feet. Yeah, but see, I want to see him. Where, where are you fighting Tommy Hearns or somebody? I'm loving what I'm seeing, but like, where's the... Who are these oh, guys? He had to go head first. So what, has no defense whatsoever, Reg. And the round's nearly over, though. Oh, what punches they are, Jim. Is this the, the first rock of a landslide now coming in from Ben? Oh, they hate fighting this dude, man. God, they're, 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 they're happy with it. Woo. Just keeping Ben controlled by fighting. Oh, a good shot. Punch. I don't think he's going to get a human. And of course, the witness says yes, but it's all over. Part of the shouting, Jim. More control and it'll all be over. Yes, that's it. It's all over. Third knockdown. And in the eighth round, Nigel Benn has won the WBO middleweight championship of the world. Number one. Nigel Benn versus Gerald McClellan. On February 25, 1995, defending WBC Super Middleweight title Ben beat Gerald McClellan by knockout at 146 in round 10 of 12. It's right from the opening bell, he's looking for the finisher. He's ducking very low, Jim, below the, the waistline, and as he looks as though he's done him in the opening round, and we thought Damn. that might happen. See, nothing in that punch, off balance, his body weight, but that was a better shot, and McClellan just takes it and comes back. Have him. Ben saying, well, I've beaten better men than he has. Be thankful for that. His legs still a little bit unsteady. We we'll see if he can leave his head better. He has to get his body. See, people always say, and quite rightly, that he's a great puncher, but the fellow can box it. That was a good shot from there on the back of the neck, McClellan. A good right hand from Ben. See, McClellan has got to have a great defence. For him now, for Ben, that's, that's some comeback. It looked all over, didn't it? Another good right hand. Ben is getting, and that's working. McClellan has not landed a piece of he's still being pushed back. Yeah, he he comes here, I'm not surprised. Close. Can you imagine that? And put a workout. That was a tremendous left hook from Ben. Again, when he was in trouble. And oh, ben. Right above us here, Jim. Look at there he goes again. Good. The wounded lion bit again. But he's, he's back in trouble here. Legs of that dredge. Both he's getting got to get out of that corner, Jim. He's got yeah. to get out of that corner and he won't. But he doesn't mind being in the corner. That was the only... Just giving that little breather that Ben needs. 
France does it both. He was relentless, man. All the relentless. In the previous round, this is by great signs for Nigel Ben. This is all heart is one in this fight. Yeah, he's punching the corner. Yeah. Him. He's going to stop him. I'll tell you that now. This fellow doesn't like it the way he's going down. Of course, you're not going to enjoy being but you're going to go down like that. And he's shaking his head. He's going to count him out, isn't he? He's going to count he's him quit, out. Man, he's quick, man. He's done him. He's quick. What a fantastic performance. Thank you. Man, I'm so happy. <clears throat> I'm so happy y'all requested that dude. I mean, that, man, that was some great, great fights. The fighting was just different back then, man. Them dudes just had, like, I don't know. I don't know if his son, his son might have that same heart like that, but usually, like, you know, who was it? Julio Cesar Chavez, his son wasn't it. A lot of these guys who be, like legacy kids. I mean, Floyd Mayweather, he ended up being good, but I would like to see him fight like, you know, uh, Floyd's uncle or something. Like, he fought in the 80s. I mean, I'm still not seeing the same fights, but I will say this, man. Um, that was probably, man, that was some great fighting, man. That dude, Nigel Ben, man, I apologize, guys. Let me say this to the UK guys out there. Hey, man, y'all had one right there. Nigel Ben was, man, full of heart, nothing but heart, man. He, I mean, he was getting knocked out. He just kept getting up, man. I mean, that was that was great. That was fun to watch, man. I'm, I, I'm happy, man. Y'all keep on requesting. I'm going to have to go back and start watching some of them old fights, man. I miss boxing like that. Boxing was a totally different sport back then. It was way better. It was just way better, man. I mean, y'all hit that subscribe button, man. But uh, I definitely know who, who that guy is now. Shout out to him. Shout out to the UK, man, you know. But, I mean, y'all just leave leave in the comments who y'all think I should check out, who else over there in the UK or anywhere. But I'm about to start going back and watching some of these old fights. For real. But I still, at the end of the day, feel like Tank, would still knock his son completely out of his shoes. I don't know if he got that heart like that, man. You got to be built different, man. I don't know if he grew up rich or if his dad might have blew all the money. I don't know. All I know is he better be ready he come fighting the tank, man. He come fighting anybody over here. But definitely shout out, man. Y'all hit that subscribe button, man. Let me know in the comments what y'all think of the video. Um, hey, man, salute. Appreciate y'all. Still got love for y'all over there in the UK. And no, it ain't no hate. It ain't about that. It's just like... And now, let me say this too. Tyson Fury is definitely a GOAT. So, I know y'all got Tyson Fury too, but other than Tyson Fury, I don't know, man. Everybody else kind of was a little bit of a bust. But, hey, that's my opinion, man. All right? So, hit that sub button, man. Appreciate y'all watching. Your boy, 55.